the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 178. Godzilla Quadra Distortion Driver. Ah, that'd be cool. I have long wanted to install. I've done this before, but I've taken an actual guitar, like a mini guitar effect pedal. Box, arc, electric arc. Taking one of these, you can get them cheap. And you take a battery. So this has a nine volt battery that goes to it. So you take one of these, you buy one of these, you, or you rip them out of a, an alarm clock. You've seen these around, right? So you rip that out and then you find out what sort of input this goes here and then you hack wire it together. And then you put this on here like this. And then you can attach your nine volt, like install it with one of these. And then you have like a cheap sort of onboard effects. The trick to it is, is how to wire your output of the box into this and then out your amp. What I thought was cool would be cool as opposed to putting um, like pots, like a volume and a tone pot, is buying these little cheap nano pedals, right? Hack wiring this in there and then actually using this and these as your, so then making this as your output, like you'd have this output like on the box. Find some creative way to just put it on there like I might just, and then what I did was I'll show you in a little while so you pull these screws right here out and you can actually attach this <laughs> it's already been done before but remember in your own little Mr. Rogers neighborhood world you are the first person who's ever done it anyways yeah it's fun so I've only done this, I've done this twice, and it's, it takes a little bit of thinking, but it's, it works really cool if you get it to work right. Yes, I mentioned this, and there's all sorts of possibilities with these little mini mini pedals, which is essentially what the CB Giddy Psycho Knob is. The Artec Quadra Distortion Driver QDD2 Circuit Board Instructions. Now this gets hairy right here with this input-output business. If you know one thing about Godzilla, is every once in a while he likes to go psycho. So can you put a psycho knob in a three string bass guitar? I have no idea. I've not done any research. I'm just gonna go with it. Have you ever seen a psycho knob in a three string 31 inch scale resonator bass guitar? Will it even work? Who knows? We're just gonna experiment. So I had the psycho knob and I'm waiting for a three-way switch to get in. So I went ahead and just went for it. It fit in there like a dream. That is a three-eighths hole. Spin them around. Make sure that you got space back here. Nothing worse than drilling that hole up front and it being like too far over this way or too far up that way. And I have this new little corner here. But anyways, it fit. Makes me happy. So it fit. Now, you know, it gets hairy with this idea of who's input, who's output. <laughs> I did just, I did actually just solder this all in and I soldered it to the wrong 
plugs, output and input. The output goes to the pickup. The input goes to this, you know. And I had to, I ran out of slack here, so I had to hack wire it in. So will it work? I have no idea. Let's not get all excited just yet. <laughs> it might not even work. And you're probably wondering, is, it, is the sound gonna go through here as it's gotta travel so much? I don't know. Maybe there'll be some delay. That's the whole fun part about experimenting in cigar boxing. So the, the principle is taking these cheap pickups that we get. So you got some cheap pickups. And if you take cheap pickups that at least work, right? You can always run them through some sort of, you know, effects unit and get different effects out of it. And so, yeah, we're just going to try and see how this works. Finally, I need to install this battery. Now, I don't have to because I have plenty of space in here. And you know they have those little clips that you can clip your 9 volt to. I can probably do that only because I, ha I do have this access panel. See right here on the side? So, I'm not lazy or slack. I could install this battery pack right here up top here. It could go in here because I got plenty of space as far as depth goes. Or over here, see? <clears throat> I can put it right here on the side. And it would just go right in here like this, all nice. But I could save this for something else. We'll see, I'm not sure I haven't decided yet. And I still have to attach this. The front pickup, I got it on a pad. See, so it can be raised and lowered. But I, I needed to attach it. It's like, ba it's like basket weaving sometimes. <laughs> when you're putting these things in here, when you're getting the neck in here, and then you're trying to basket weave this guy in and out of here, but it, it'll hold it, so it's cool. Okay. Psycho knob. What I'm gonna do now is find a nice way to put these wires together on here. I, use, I like to use um, close clothesline clips, you know, and then hot glue them on here, and then it'll keep this from being a hot mess. And yeah, this is gonna go for a different project. This is primarily for an acoustic guitar, and. For this bass, anyways, I just wanted to try the psycho knob on here to tell you the honest truth. I just wanted to see if it'll work. If it doesn't work, that's cool because I'll just unplug this and I'll put a three way switch in there and then I'll just put a piezo in here. But I thought it would be cool to try it out with for the because everybody knows Godzilla goes crazy maniac psycho, but he's got a good heart, does he? Godzilla really have a good heart when he goes into. Tokyo and, and tramples it. I don't know. The sea monster. This is gonna be changed out. Don't don't get excited. I'm just putting this here for a visual. I'll probably end up going with that. Or I'm gonna put a sticker on, on here or something. This is still a work in a work in progress. But I wanted to play around with the electronics today. I just thought you'd appreciate this. So this is a ZT 200 watt. Look, it's a 200 watt guitar amp. Look how small it is. But <laughs> I have my old iPhone going through out of here into the auxiliary input. And then the stupid phone's so old that you have to constantly turn that off. But, and then you have to constantly have it plugged in. So that's how I'm recording, that's how I'm playing the music. <laughs> as, I, as I'm working and recording and making videos, I'm playing music, this is the way I'm doing it. Remember the old days we'd have cassettes or albums? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're gonna play or what? No, oh, see, then there's still then there's still technical difficulties. Dude, what the heck? Well, you get the point. This is the part post electronics install where I officially stop for the weekend because I'll get too upset and too mad and too frustrated if I go to turn all this on and something doesn't work and I have to go tr troubleshoot. So that's another day, another dollar. I got it all in here. It looks all pretty. I'm pretty sure I followed all of my diagrams correctly, except for this. When you get the psycho knob, make sure you pay attention to the input and output. This last thing where you saw me where I attached this green wire is because originally I had this wire I don't, attached to, to the output. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's called Reed Schematics. Goofball. And I, even even the schematics, I just had a hard time even understanding them. The guitar pickup output goes to the output. The guitar and then the amp input anyways it's pretty self-explanatory but if you suffer from 
mild forms of mental retardation as I do. Like I really, I've built like what, almost a hundred of these things and I still cross my fingers every single time I install my, like this is why I would rather buy pre-wired harnesses. When it, I'm getting better at it, I mean, I don't, but still, when you've had traumatic experiences of spending hours upon hours figuring out how to wire and solder and it doesn't work, or if you forget to put your ground wire in, this hole was actually a hack. Ashley drilled th was drilling this to here, but this didn't go into the neck like I hoped it would. Into there. So, but I did remember to run, go ahead and use that hack hole to put the ground wire into this metal bridge. Make sure it's metal. It's a good conductor. So anyways, yeah. I'm going to change this right here out now for the, the the brush metal and then we'll hit it the next video up it's coming along funky still looks like a like a speaker <laughs> but that's cool